Now that we are kind of getting our site set up and really starting to look the way that we want, I wanted to touch on a couple theme settings as well as Genesis settings and just make sure that you understand what's available to you as well as where some of the, the hidden things are that you might be looking for when installing your site. If I jump into my dashboard, under Genesis, there's a menu item called Theme Settings. Just walking through here, almost all of this is fine by default. Breadcrumbs, if you want to use these on your archive pages, we'll come back and talk about this later. But these are those things that say something like, you are here, and then it shows what part of the site you're on. By the theme demo, it used this one right here under archives, but I'll leave it unchecked for now. Everything else is fine as is right now. But I wanted to come down here to the bottom and point out the header and footer scripts. Sometimes you'll need to use these areas either for ads or other scripts running on your site. But particularly in the header script, you might want to put your Google Analytics code. If you just go to analytics.google.com, you can track users and visitors and that sort of information. And they'll give you a little script to install on your site. This is what I would say is the best place to put that code. So if you just copy that from Google, paste it here, and then click Save you would have that code. On the SEO settings, I won't cover too much of this, but there is a place to put a publisher URL. So if you have a Google Plus page, you'd wanna paste your publisher URL here so that it's associated with your website. Lastly, I'm gonna scroll down here and go to settings. By default, we'll go to the general settings, but settings general will take us to this page. Even if, like on our site right now, I'm using a logo, even if you aren't using text, I would recommend you change the site title. It'll change it up here, but more importantly, it'll set it up for SEO purposes and just make sure search engines such as Google see your site correctly. So in my case, I would do something like Minimalist Baker and it would change those two places and, and a couple other, but I would recommend updating that if you haven't yet. And then if I go to my permalinks page, by default, WordPress uses this post number or page number setting Looking at our site here, for example, if I click my about page, it goes to my domain name and then backslash page ID 11. I'd really prefer that to just say about. Under permalinks, you can change that. In the example that I just gave, I would just use post name. You can use some of these other options and some people like having the date associated or otherwise. I personally just keep it simple and go to post name. If I click save changes now and then go back to our site and click about, we now have our domain name backslash about, which I think looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more slick, and just uh, is easier to share, which is kind of helpful. So that's really just some basic quick information about Genesis and WordPress, but I think those settings can help you get a lot of stuff set up and really going the way that you want at the beginning, so that way you're not worried about how to fix it all later on.